back to Hilo Lux for luxury and style attainable. I have how to wear color part two today. Um, I did the series before just sharing with you how I'm trying to integrate more color into my wardrobe. You guys seem to really like it. So I figured I'd bring a part two, just more outfit inspiration and kind of um, honing in on a few tips that I've been using that are helping me add more color. Um, I think I shared like five or six tips in the last video and I'll link that one below and at the end of this video. But there's like two, I feel like tips that just have been working for me the most <laughs> that I'm gonna incorporate into the outfits I'm gonna show you today. So this video is in partnership with ThreadUp. I work with them on a year long basis. You guys know that already. <laughs> um, so I have a few pieces from ThreadUp and basically I used to thrift a lot when we lived in DC and since we moved, I just don't have as many thrifting options that were as good as when I lived in DC. So I basically just use ThreadUp now. And before we get into the outfits, if you are new here or you've never heard of ThreadUp, it is an online uh, way to thrift, basically. I use the app mostly. You can have like a wish list, you can save things. I just find it easy to like go back and forth to the app. I'll put up the app um, somewhere on the screen so you can see kind of like how it is to shop. I always use the app again, but they do a great job of making like curations. So it just makes it easier for you to shop because there are a lot of options. So like right now they have um, a workwear essential. So again, if you're looking for things to work, you can kind of just browse that and then I would suggest you always put in like your sizes so that everything gets filtered for you so it makes it super easy. Um, they have a section for uh, denim shorts, tees and tanks if you're looking for something specific. Um, dabble in designers, this is a great way to shop like premium contemporary brands and of course luxury brands. Um, they have formal section, a cocktail section, lots of options and they even have a clearance on here. Um, and they have this thing called thrift the outfit. So um, I'll pop it up again, but it's really cool. If you are more of a visual person and you don't like sifting through just pieces and you wanna look at outfits, um, they curate outfits and then kind of say like, if you like this vibe, here are the pieces you would need to get it. So really like that. Of course, I have a code, I will put it here. It's Janae35 if you wanna save 35% off on your order. Um, and all the details, terms and conditions will be linked below, of course, and a link to shop. Um, but let's get into the two tips. I think I have two, two tips that I've been using. It's the main focus of the last video was using the color wheel. Um, and that is still going to be my main tip. I kind of just have it somewhat memorized as far as like the colors that I prefer and that just work well for me and I find easy to wear. Um, but the color wheel, I'll pop it up of course, is the easiest way to figure out what colors work well together if this is something that you're not used to doing. So when you look at the color wheel, let me pull mine up. Um, if I have a piece that I just fell in love with, but it's not a color I typically wear, and then I go to style it and I'm not used to styling it, I will always pull out the color wheel and just see what colors naturally work well. Okay, so I usually will pick colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. I find that that it almost gives like a monochrom monochromatic feel, but a little more interesting. Um, it makes it feel like you put a, more, a little more thought into it, even though you really didn't. Um, you can also do colors that are across from each other on the color wheel, but I find that that is a little more bold. So again, for me, I just have been gravitating towards colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So um, the second tip is finding a print that has interesting colors in it, color combinations, or again, the same like colors that are close to each other on the color wheel in one piece. So you don't have to do a lot of work, but you're still playing with color. Um, and I think almost every outfit I have here is doing that. Um, a good example again is this shirt, um, especially the back. It has orange, red, and a little bit of yellow, which are all close to each other on the color wheel. They're all right next to each other but the skirt, the shirt is kind of doing all the work for me. Um, and then I can just obviously still pair with the color, but I also could have done a neutral with this and still had a lot of color incorporated in my outfit. So, um, and same thing, I'll show you with a few of the other outfits, but doing some type of print. When you find a print that you like, you know, and it, it, you're comfortable with it, but just look for something with a little more color. So those are my two tips. Okay, so we'll see a cutaway of the outfit, but basically the first outfit we have is mixing um, reds and orange and some yellow and again those are just close to each other on the color wheel but this is playing into that the 90s vibe which you know is my thing um, and it's by Versace Jeans Couture I believe is the brand and the estimated retail is 225 and I got it for 144 so a bit of a splurge but you know I'm into the 90s so I really like this kind of almost baby tea effect I also did cut it um because I just want to make it a little more interesting and I paired it with a sequin skirt and I absolutely love the combo. Um, again, I love this color combination together, but the shirt is doing most of the work for me. So we got a fun print on the front, which is 
mostly white um, and then it kind of like has these pops of red then it has this neon green writing it's a lot going on so i don't have to do a lot <laughs> and then the back is kind of like all of these flowers i think they're roses on the front we have like a graphic tee kind of vibe and then the back is almost giving like monochromatic i really like this combo together i think it is a great way to like mix glam and you know casual which is one of my favorite things but again this is an example of letting a print do most of the work for you and then you can just toss in something special that pulls out one of the colors in the print thing okay so next up is this stunning combo color combo and again this is going up to the tip of finding things that are close together on the color wheel is yellow and green which are right next to each other on the color wheel and i have been gravitating towards a lot and i think they just work obviously they work so well together with color theory but um it's easy but it you know you can also do this in these are pretty bold colors but then it also looks nice with like pastel colors as well um and then i got this top i'm not a huge yellow person so i got this top from third up this is by the brand etc um and it also came with a cardigan and i'm kind of regretting that i did not get the matching cardigan um, let me get the price. So this was estimated retail 127 and I got it for $25.99 and it's like a very lightweight knit. I think it is so cute and I would probably do, I'm trying to think what I would do when I do the cutaway, but I would probably do some type of jacket on top if it's cooler at night, but I think this is so cute as a combination for the summer. So yeah, love, love this color combination. I would definitely recommend saving this again. For me, it's like these are bold colors but they also are like in the same family, that's the vibe. Next up, going back to the idea of just using a print, letting that do all the work, is this outfit. Of course, it's one of my favorites because it's just giving us the 90s vibe. <laughs> um, my favorite jeans, the MM6 jeans are just white, wide leg, kind of oversized, that loose flowy feel. And then a scarf, which I'm gonna wear as a top. And this, of course, is like a beautiful, print this is an Hermes scarf I found one thread up that is correct um and it's an orange which is one of my favorite colors to wear when I do wear color but then it's mixing in some tan um some cream and some yellow and I love orange and yellow together those are next to each other on the color wheel so we're kind of doing both tips colors that are close to each other and make sense together on the color wheel and then a print that does all the work for you so you can keep the rest of the outfit pretty neutral um let me get the price Let's see, so the estimated retail of the scarf is $4.20 and I got it for $2.96. I love, love, love this outfit. I feel like it's just so fun and a great way to kind of like transition into fall. I know we don't want to talk about fall yet, but it's coming. Um, so again, you could wear this during the day and then if you need to throw on a jacket to go out at night, your outfit is ready. Okay, the next outfit is another orange and yellow combo. So you see the trend like once you start doing this and practicing, you kind of like figure out the colors that you gravitate towards, the color combos. And I definitely have mine, I definitely have mine. These shorts are by Kai Collective, I've talked about that brand before, that I love, it's a black on brand. And then this little, almost like racerback top, um, is from Thread Up, and it's by the brand Nina Ricci, which I don't know if it's still in business, but she was a really big brand in the 90s. Um, and I love, it's kind of like giving like sports looks, I really like that. Um, look and feel and then I just thought that would look so nice together so yellow and orange again so these are very minimal pieces um, kind of like simple streamlined pieces so I went a little bolder with the color but still these colors are next to each other on the color wheel so it makes sense that way it just makes me a little more comfortable when I wear it um, and this is super cute let me get the price of the top Nina Ricci is a designer brand or was again I have to figure out if she's still in business um, but the estimated retail was $143 and I got it for $45.79, very specific price <laughs> on third up. So that's that look. Love, I love this color combo. But again, this is like uh, a bit, this is probably the boldest, yeah, the boldest color combo, but also looks so good together. Next up, we are playing into the print game again, right? The print does all the work. You can keep the rest of the look simple. Um, and this top is by Masoni. I love Masoni. Um, and this is one of my favorite color combos, which is like pink and purple and red, mainly pink and red. I think that is such an unexpected color combo and it looks so feminine together, but also it can look very bold and strong together. 
And I find that this has a lot of black trim, which always just helps me balance things out. Um, so this is the, it's like a cardigan, like a wrap style cardigan, which is flattering. You know, I love a good V neck. Um, and then I paired it with some distressed jeans because you know I have to love distressed jeans. And I thought the easy route, old Janae would just pair it with black bottoms, right? Because that's, would be easy. But I thought denim kept it like light and summery, so I like this combo together. But again, we're keeping it neutral on the bottom. You could do this with just something simple um, because the top is doing all the work for you with that print that already has the color story in it, so you don't have to do any of the work. And let me get the detail. The estimated retail price of the top was $4.65, and I got it for $100.69 to be exact. Um, but super cute. This is just like classic, easy. You can wear this anywhere. This will also be cute, like tucked into something high waisted. So, next up, I was very excited about this piece, and this is giving monochrome. But again, the print is doing all the work. You get, you get, you get where I'm going with this. The clothes are doing all the work for you. You kind of just figure out those color combos that you are drawn to, and then you just look for them. So this is a really cute like jumpsuit that I thought would be really nice as we kind of transition again out of summer into fall and it is playing with greens and blues and kind of purples which again are all it's almost giving like watercolors they're flower prints but the color combo feels like a watercolor because they're all together on the color wheel and strapless the brand I've actually never heard of it is called Fousey let me know if you've heard of Fousey let me tell you the price point Z. Um, it must be a luxury brand. It is regularly $5.95 and I got it for $1.94 and then I just popped it on with this little crop denim jacket and I thought again sticking with like the color story the monochromatic feel of it I wanted to keep it with like something blue. You can also do black. It has a little a few little specks of black in here too. But I really like this. Right, queens, those are my two tips and my kind of outfit inspiration if you're trying to integrate more color into your wardrobe. I hope this was helpful. I don't know if we need a part three, but let me know. Maybe just the outfits and like seeing them and kind of, I wanted to share my thought process. Based on the first video I did, kind of like, I wrote down and came up with all these different tips I could use. And these are kind of the ones that I have really honed in on that I find myself using on a day to day. So I hope that helped. Of course, make sure you check out ThreadUp. You can use my code Janae35 and save 35% off your first order. All the terms and conditions will be below. I think that's everything. Oh, if you did not know, I did start an online membership, a YouTube membership. So this is specifically for people that are interested in content creation, um, influencing, doing exactly what I do. It's not for everyone. It's not um, like more fashion content or anything um, like on any of my other platforms. This is mainly for people who asked me, you know, to do one-on-one -on -one coachings, to be a mentor, to make an ebook. Um, I'm kind of putting all of that information in my YouTube membership. I'll leave those details down below as well, but we do two live streams a month and then there's additional um, just video content, but it's based all around the behind the scenes and kind of like the day-to-day -day of content creation. So if that is you, <laughs> you can click on the link in the description box as well and learn more information. I think that's everything. Let me know if we need a part two. No, let me know if we need a part three. Um, and also leave me any suggestions. Obviously we're going into fall for videos. Um, we're gonna have of course fall trends coming up. Probably do another designer or dupe for August. So leave any other requests below. I think that's everything. Thanks for stopping by. See ya.